Bro, hi, honeys. How are you? Tanya Shiloh here. And of course, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you guys? I hope that you are fine, amazing, popping and well. Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back to another video. You guys, as you have seen from the thumbnail to the title of the vlog, the discovery of gold in Uganda and the drastic increase in the cost of living. That is the topic for at least every other Ugandan. But before actually I start, you know, giving my honest opinions about those, uh, if this is the first time you're watching my face over here, hi there, I'm Tanya Nishailok, I'm a Ugandan beauty and lifestyle content creator. Feel free to subscribe, to like, to comment, to share out with friends and family, and always make sure that you leave your opinion in the comment section below. About three weeks ago, I believe uh, rumors started circulating that uh, huge metric tons of gold reserves have been found here in Uganda, particularly in the uh, eastern part of Uganda, probably. And uh, when actually I did get that information, I first heard of it on the radio. That is when I was traveling in a taxi in Kampala. It was an early morning. Then I believe uh, some of the following days it was talked about in the major news. But uh, finally, it was confirmed that we have almost over 12 plus metric tons of gold reserve. I'm very happy. I'm very, you know, now racked. But again, I have the other part of me which probably i'm gonna be explaining in the vlog and uh, the other amazing thing guys is that uh when you look at different blogs and different websites which actually do calculations they say that those reserves are over 12 plus trillion dollars i believe gold is one of the major export but 2021 2020 uh, data responsible for things that we are exporting out of the country followed by coffee and a lot of other different things and actually most of this gold is exported to uh, america some asian countries like japan china singapore and arabic countries such as probably saudi arabia oman qatar and all those other different countries which can actually do easily refine it and reform it into standardized products. When it comes to the gist of this particular vlog, what does it mean to actually have almost 320 million metric tons of gold? I think that uh, a lot of people actually don't take their time to actually listen and understand and take note of such analytics and data of different uh, resources we have in the country. Uh, mind you, we are not even a middle income country. We are not even scaled around the middle class. We are actually gauged as a low class, you know, country, even not middle class or upper class. But hopefully such opportunities of finding different resources can push us a little bit further to the middle class and hopefully even to the upper class so the first thing is foreign exchange that is probably the first thing that comes to my mind when i think of these particular gold reserves and uh, i believe that uh, foreign exchange is probably evident very very well to the prior thing i've just talked about you know having uh, america saudi arabia and all those other different countries actually coming in to buy that particular gold which can probably be refined here or pro probably refined in those particular countries what this will do for us it will probably bring in or lead to more influx of uh you know foreign currency you know our money in shillings it is actually of low value compared to a lot of different countries that probably are going to be coming in to buy and uh probably stock those particular minerals chances are very high that even our money might get up a little bit then the other thing that i think that uh, this particular opportunity has come with it is probably revenue you know living in a country which i've explained to you we are not even the middle class you know countries of the world we are actually lower class we need a lot of revenue we need a lot of money to probably you know uh, develop ourselves in terms of infrastructure in terms of uh you know different social development in terms of you know, giving our people opportunities to study, to work hard, teach them business so that we can at least move to a particular, uh, you know, a particular level. Revenue, I believe this is also going to be very impactful because as I told you earlier on, I heard from the, from different officials responsible that probably uh, in Namayengo, 
uh, that is the place where the gold was, you know, formed. They are going to establish their uh, refinery center where actually they can easily, you know, pass through the primary refining stage before they can uh, send it over to different countries which probably have bought it. But in so doing, in the process of, you know, refining primarily, meaning that uh, there is revenue that is going to be put onto those particular projects. And revenue in simple terms, it is taxes. I believe that can also help us a lot and a lot when it comes to this particular goal of, uh, you know, uh, clinging on to development, especially infrastructure, education, uh, you know, better health services, uh, you know, social development of our people and our own selves. Then the third thing, which I think is also absolutely important and it is going to stand out, it is that uh, it is employment. I believe that, uh, you know, in that particular area in the Mayingo where gold reserves were actually found, that is over 320 metric tons of gold. Uh, it is going to be an opportunity to a lot of people, especially around that particular area. You know, people who are going to be in the mining areas to dig out the gold, who are going to be, you know, transporting the gold, people who are going to be primarily refining the gold, all those are different employment opportunities. Hence, people will be actually getting money to develop themselves, to educate their children, educate themselves, and live at least at a better standard of life. Then the last point that I think that this has come with, it is all about diversity diversification. If you are very long hand of mind, you know that I love this particular point, diversification, wherever it is, I follow. You know that every opportunity that actually comes up, it gives you an opportunity to diversify in that particular line. For example, this is gold. Chances are very high that a lot of different substantial businesses can actually link up onto that particular one. Then you guys, the other bit, it is all about increasing, you know, cost of living here in Kampala, Uganda. If you are not aware yet, we have had something like an inflation, I believe for over the last four months, you know, uh, I believe around February of this year, that's when the inflation did start. Like normal things that we do use at home, such as soap, uh, such as sugar, such as, you know, um, even matchbox. Just imagine they have been increasing prices day after day. Initially, I believe the ministry responsible, it was actually saying that it is due to the wars in, uh, you know, in Europe. Is it in Europe, in Ukraine? But uh, day after day, we have seen that the war is reducing, but the things are actually just increasing to skyrocket, to skyrocket, and to skyrocket. I'll give you an example of a fuel, you know, that is transportation transportation has increased a lot and a lot if you are kind of a person who actually you know was planning to come over here basing on the information that i did give prior you know on the cost of livings that i've been doing in the past the cost of transportation has drastically increased for example in the area where you used to travel for only 1000 ugandan shillings currently you're going to travel for 3000 ugandan shillings but about that used to be for probably 3000 ugandan shillings to town currently it is going to be telling you 7000 ugandan shillings so the inflation is still up you know very very absolutely up and we are trying our best we as locals and i believe also who are responsible to see that we uh you know to a mantra you know here and there so that we can get this money to support ourselves then the other thing is all about food food has also increased a lot and a lot and i believe that uh if food increases that is for sure a sign to show that things are skyrocketing very, very badly off. Because in the past, we used to have inflations of, I believe, around 10%, 9%, but food would actually remain on the normal bar. But this time around, when you are telling me that a kilogram of posho is uh, around 3,500, which used to be around 1,500, that is a very drastic change. In hotels, where I used to eat five, uh, a plate of local food for, for, for 5,000 Ugandan shillings, currently they want 7,500 you know even when it comes to the no more no more snacks which are sold on the roadside they have also actually been increasing day after day wheat has increased sugar has increased posho has increased beans have increased rice has increased but i just believe and hope you know, that with time as we try our best to see that we are doing uh, different kinds of jobs and we are trying to be very, very, you know, minimalistic on the way how we handle things, things might come back down a little bit. You guys, the other thing is all about rent. Rent has also actually been increasing, but I believe this has only affected people who are, you know, who are new tenants in different houses. For me, by the time I did get this particular house, uh, you know, the influence 
inflation was not there the cost of living was actually very very normal as it used to be and uh my landlord has never increased my monthly rent but i believe that people who are just new tenants in different houses those are the people who are going to actually be feeling this particular heavy weight of rent because uh this particular house which i'm in currently you cannot get it at the same price which i did get it around last year when i got it i believe right now it can even go up to 500 550 600 000 ugandan shillings so rent has also actually drastically increased also i think the other reason why rent has been increasing uh, there are a lot of different you know taxes and revenues that are being implemented in different divisions of uh you know different divisions where these different houses that you know are located so the government actually demands that there is a percentage that the landlords have to pay in order to keep development and cleanliness and security of the particular division or the particular area so in summary guys i would love to say that though the opportunity of minerals have actually come in but there is also this particular stumbling block of inflation and increasing cost of living i just hope for the best and i just hope that people who are responsible can be able to match it out somewhere somehow and i also hope that this particular period we have been in or we are still in it teaches us something you know it teaches us to be uh, economical it teaches us how to handle ourselves with value it teaches us how to respect money and add value to it and it teaches us that not all situations probably will last for uh you know for a very long time so thank you very much guys for watching today's vlog i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart let me know what you thought of this in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to like to comment and to share out with friends and family and let me meet you in my next one tanya and shylock switching out bye for now